been a while. I don't even know if the R33 is going to start this morning. It's uh, sat out in the street for the last week while I've been daily driving the FD, trying to work out some of the kinks and everything else that that thing has. But um, yeah, I've been waiting for some parts so I can get the 33 back to daily duty so I can leave this thing back in the garage. But um, yeah, today some parts finally came. Not things that I desperately needed, but some parts that I can fit. It's probably going to take me a while because this is a Zach Boarding channel and nothing ever goes to plan. <laughs> yeah, I attacked that box. <laughs> I got too keen and I started ripping apart my box. Um, and as it turns out, it's the wrong part that I needed. But it's, it's the right part for the car, but it's the wrong one that I needed to get the car back on the road. I've been waiting for my LS alternator upgrade kit so we can finally get that thing up to a correct voltage so it could actually drive. Um, it turns out that it wasn't that. It's actually my front passenger wheel hub that I've been waiting for for a while now. So um, yeah, also take the new project behind me. Um, <laughs> no, just joke. I honestly don't even know if that thing's gonna start. So let's go find out before Sarah goes to work so I can still jump start if I need to. We'll find out. Woo. Let's give her a shot. Oh, I haven't started this thing in probably about a week. <laughs> so fingers crossed. Such a sad girl. It's so pretty. Ooh, she's a bit cold this morning. It still has power. That's good. My gauges are still annoying as f***. I'm primed it three times, so hopefully it doesn't have a weird misfire. Alrighty, yo, fingers crossed. If it cranks, it'll start, so. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, what? Come on. <laughs> oh, it's a bit rough, but it's running. <laughs> there you go, so it wasn't starting, but I'm, I made it start. <laughs> I have no idea how that worked. Usually I have to jump start it if it doesn't start by then, but that's quite funny. <laughs> now we'll let her warm up, so hopefully it just goes up the driveway nicely. Another thing as well, I need to fix another, like, I think there might be like a fuse or something for my indicator stalk, because my blinkers have always gone very quick, and then also, um, oh, where is it? And then, yeah, also my wipers don't work on like the first setting, where like, you know, they should just like click on and off with the fuse. They kind of just like, they can stay there. <laughs> I can kind of just stop them wherever I want. Um, so if anyone has any fixes for that, please let me know because I got no clue. I want to try and make this thing nice again, so yeah. Also, I've got to fix that massive big scratch in the windscreen that I've had it ever since it was new, so yeah. There's a whole heap of stuff to do. Will it make it up the driveway? Oh, it's moving. That's one more than I did yesterday. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, send it. Yeah! Whoop. <laughs> she does need some revs to keep that voltage up so it doesn't misfire. <laughs> hey, it made it. I'm amazed this thing held charged. How much, how, what voltage are we looking at right now? Okay, so the dash still says 14.2, but it's definitely not that because I checked it with my multimeter. It's not 14.2. It's like under 13. So weird. Oh, it made it up here. That's cool. So a couple of months back, or a couple of weeks back, sorry, when we got the new wheels, um, I had a little bit of an issue when it came to the hub on the R33. Um, so I'm going to play a quick little video for you guys. Yeah, I'm not going to go into detail as to how that happened, but yeah. I have a brand new hub. For some reason, it was so hard to find for many months, this hub. I ended up getting one from Japan, but as soon as I got one from Japan, all of a sudden, a whole heap of ones kept coming up from Australia, and it was so annoying. So, yeah. And it was also hard because I had to try and distinguish whether this was an ABS version or not. Apparently they're different, apparently they're not. I have no clue, but anyway, we have a new hub here, which is hopefully going to work. It's a five stud hub. Four studs were so much cheaper. Apparently everyone needed the fire stud for some stupid reason, but we finally have a hub for the R33. Yep, you guys all saw it in videos a few times, but uh, yeah, unfortunately that's how I've had to roll for a few weeks, and uh, I'm not very happy with it. I have uh, absolutely destroyed this box. <coughs> oh, they've actually like done decent packaging. Look at all that cool Japanese bubble wrap. That's cool. Come on. 
So what we have in this very horribly uh, boxed up box is a brand new, a brand new used uh, five star hub for an R33. I really hope this is the right side. Is it the right side? Is this a freaking driver side? Oh. It is a driver side. Why does it say right front? <laughs> this is the wrong side. At least I know there's a whole heap on, uh, on eBay. Great, great. So that's all right, I ordered the wrong side. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed, but we can work this out. That's no worries at all. We're going to take the RX-7 now to Empire Tint and Vinyl so we can go fix up some of the bits of the wrap. So uh, so it's been about a week or so since we wrapped it and uh, now the sort of sun curing time and everything is sort of settled. So I'm gonna go back there, heat up some parts and then we're gonna press it all down and sort of fold over some corners and everything else as well. Try and sort of polish off the wrap a little bit more. On the wing, the wing is actually getting painted and I'll explain to you guys what that is when we get there. So um, also not only that, you guys are also going to see a video, a pure sound of the RX-7, so that's going to be fun. We're going to go film that right now, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, so we're up to temp. Today we're going to be heading out to uh, my work, which is Empire 10 Vinyl, where we actually did this car. So uh, yeah, you'll think you'll find... I'm definitely a lot more comfortable with the way that this thing drives. Uh, it's definitely a lot smoother since when I got it. A lot of, well, a lot of the stuff that we've done has been really cool, so... <laughs> I love my little graph on like, it's recording. Eh, fuck it, we'll go the highway. Sweet work. She loves it. Look at those dogs, dude. I live for dogs. That's sick. Oh my god, what did it do to my hair? God damn, I need a hat. That's bad. Radio, so the RX7 uh, is here in Empire Tint and Vinyl's workshop. So uh, today we're just going to go over a few little things. We're going to uh, just Put some stuff on it, probably put the badges on it, um, and just do little things like this. So I've been driving around for the last week or so um, with this, looking like this. Um, and plus there's all bubbles in here. Like we literally just put it over uh, to let it sit in the sun so I could drive it to and from. Uh, Cause it was clogging up the workshop a little bit. We we're only doing this after hours. And of course we have other cars that had priority, like paying customers, not just customers that we were doing after hours. So, um, so yeah. The car as it sits at the moment needs a few little things done, so I'm going to go over and do these bits here. Um, not only that, I'm also going to be doing the guards here, so we have to go over this with a um, what's called a non-air release, which is a firmer hold all the way on this. So I'm going to clean up all of that, I'm going to do that in the black so it looks a little bit nicer all around. So I'm going to do that the whole way around the guards. Um, not only that, probably put the badge on there. Um, what else are we looking at? I think the rest of the car is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, the only other thing I could think of is putting the badge in the front um, and then also it's going to be tucking away all these little tiny bits here, um, just getting a heat gun, pressing it all down, holding it down so that's all going to be nice and then I'll take it home, give it a wash this afternoon and that'll be the first wash that it's ever had with the new wrap, so probably put a wax over it. We are going to be ceramic coating it very very soon, so I uh, keep all that all nice and fresh, but yeah, Oop, probably helps if I close that door. Beautiful. So not only that, there's a few little pieces left to go. I opted to not put the styrofoam back in the bumper because of weight reduction. Also, we haven't put the uh, the wiper motor in the back. If you guys remember, I had this horrible big wiper motor that sat in the back here. You guys can't even notice it, but there is a covered up hole right there. Um, I don't trust myself enough to work with wrap. I could kind of like show you by poking it, 
and uh, then letting it sit out in the sun and let it sort of do everything it needs to. But I don't trust myself with that just yet. Um, so yeah, we're going to be leaving that for now. But uh, yeah, we're not going to be putting the wiper motor back in. The end plates um, looking all nice and fresh at the moment. So uh, in that beautiful carbon wrap. So this thing should be looking pretty cool at the end of the week. Um, as for the wing, we were losing too much color in the Anosotec Dandelion Yellow to do the wing covers. So what we opted is we took it down to a company called Jet Auto Refinishing, I'm pretty sure. So he's a painter um, and he was able to directly match the wrap to paint. So we are effectively making it the same color, but we are painting the wing, which is going to be sick. That's why you guys haven't seen it in the videos just yet. Um, you guys can kind of see um, all those little tiny holes that are just poking up through the wrap there. Um, yeah, so all of those holes there will all be sort of covered up. And then not only that, you guys can kind of see um, there's like little tiny bits where contamination has got underneath it. That's actually clear coat itself. If you guys remember, I was having a really hard time getting all that horrible baked on dirt. Um, off the top of the clear coat so um, the wing is going to cover all of that area of wrap up anyway it's going to be nice beautiful and painted and then we can put on those cool little end caps and then also the center wing section which is just sitting down here if you guys can see we have a beautiful carbon center wing section so that's going to look sick too so um, I guess I'm just going to get to work uh, put you guys on a time lapse we'll just uh, start putting some little badges on here and there um, and yeah, just, just do some stuff, I think. Let's do it. So one thing uh, that we did happen to unfortunately do when we were doing the wrap was we ended up breaking one of these mirrors. Um, so the other side is completely gone. So I've been waiting to sort of put them all back into place. Um, I haven't exactly figured out exactly how to do that. There's all this adhesive on the back, which is still sticky. So I kind of just sat it there for a little bit um, until I sort of worked out where all the hardware goes and everything. So now that I've worked out exactly where all the hardware is when, I've, um, when we pulled it out, uh, I've found that these little tiny things and everything will snap into place and that'll stop my mirror from flopping about. So uh, they all go and just sit on this little sort of section there. So I'll show you what I mean. So as it turns out, mine must have been loose in the first place because that whole thing there um, was not actually small enough to fit that and it sort of like had worn down into like a flat surface. So when we ripped it off, it must have just slipped straight over it, but getting it back on was a different story. So now I've just gone with a knife around it, um, taken off all the edges of the plastic. So now that little bit sits in there. This little spring sits just in there. Let me put a screw just in there. And that'll hold the mirror flat and stop waving about because at the moment when I'm at lights, literally, uh, the car's rocking back and forth and the mirror's going whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And now the not so fun part of trying to get the mirror back in without snapping it. This is going to be great fun. I'm definitely not going to do this one handed. I will pick back up as soon as I'm finished with it. Mirror back in looking fresh. Happy with that. There's a bit of play, but I assure you that it's in. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we'll admit this thing definitely needs a wing. So hopefully it's not too far away. It looks like it's all painted, ready to go. We're just gonna go pick it up. So I am very extremely excited for that. Um, the other thing we have to do is we have to rewrap the roof as well. Um, so I'll be doing that with Brett. But that is an FES spec logo placement right there. Badge placement is on point. Uh, that was pretty much, well, yeah. I, I did as much measuring as I could, but I couldn't find the floppy tape measure, so I kind of just measured it out with masking tape. Um, but it actually came out pretty good. They look pretty identical. Um, so yeah, I'm stoked about that. Uh, yeah, that's sick. Plus we reused the old badges, so there's like a little bit of a lip now where we've used like a, a thicker 3M tape um, instead of the standard like adhesive backing that they normally have. So they stick out a little bit more, but it's kind of cool. Kind of makes them like puppy letters, but looks pretty sick. Um, so yeah, cars finally starting to, well, I mean like all these little finishing touches definitely help out a little bit. Like, I don't know, just feels like a completed car now, which I'm very, very excited about. So. Yeah, if we're gonna take this thing home, we're gonna go get it washed up. I don't think there's anything else I can really do today. Um, we're pretty much just waiting for the mirror and the wing. The whole thing will be finished. Um, I've done all the guards, I can trim them all up. I have to do this guard right here. Just put some more non-air release around that guard there. Um, but aside from that, we're looking pretty good. Um, in terms of doing like the door jams, um, I would love to do the jaw jams and we probably have enough there ready to do it. Um, so I think I will end up doing that in the future. And then also, I don't know whether we're gonna do it just yet, but the bonnet, I'm thinking I might just leave it as it is for a little bit. It does look pretty uh, initial D inspired, I'm not gonna lie. It looks absolutely sick on the car at the moment. So I think we'll probably do that. Um, if I start getting a little bit too much like negative attention, I'll just won't worry about it. Um, so yeah, we'll end up doing it yellow. But yeah, I reckon the badges, even though I like the D-badge look, definitely makes the car and uh, we definitely need some new plates. So the new plates will come very, very soon. Very, very excited. Whew, looks so good. It's so funny, I'm still finding like remnants of my old tires I had back when God knows how long on the R um, R33 <laughs> when I had uh, horrible rubbing issues, but man, how freaking good does this car look? That Anosatec Dandelion Yellow is popping on this thing. Woof! Really gotta clean this thing. <laughs> Really got to clean this thing. The back with the badges now. Oh man, everything just pops now. Those badges certainly needed to go back on. Now we need to wing with some nice little carbon fiber bits and we're all, all sweet. Hell yeah. That is so cool. I love it. It does very desperately need a wash. I don't know if you guys can see how much dust is on that. I haven't washed it since we actually started wrapping it. God damn. Radio guys, we're back in the RX-7. We're about to head back home now that we've finished everything off on the RX-7. We're gonna take it home, give it a quick little bath, and uh, hopefully get this video up by tonight. So we'll see how we go. I might have to edit it before I wash it, but you guys will see it anyway. Um, sorry the vlog's being messed around and doing everything else as well, but the next video you guys will see is us cruising through Brisbane and uh, just enjoying this car and doing some pulls here and there, which are probably included in this video, but we'll see how we go. Anyway guys, um, and not only that, but it is Sarah's birthday, so go wish a go wish a Sarah a happy birthday. <laughs> go wish Sarah a happy birthday in the comments. Um, that'd be amazing. And uh, yeah, so she has her parents coming over this afternoon. So fingers crossed, I can get this video done by the time they come over. It's two o'clock now. They're coming over at three, and I have to still get home. <laughs> so I don't know how we're gonna go, but we'll see how we go. Yeah. Hey, first of all, I'm not trying to be someone I'm not. Well, there's plenty different ways for you to go and get your props. You don't need to try pretending living lifestyles you ain't got. That's that shit I told myself when I was low and feeling lost. Learning lessons pay the cost while they watching Hugo. Boy.